And tax reform has long been President Trump's signature issue. And on Wednesday, he did unveil new details of a plan he says will help the middle class and build the economy. But critics argue it's not clear how he'll pay for it. Still, after a series of legislative setbacks, Republicans on Capitol Hill and here at the White House say Mr. Trump needs a win. This morning, the fight over tax reform is taking off. There's never been tax cuts like what we're talking about. President Trump hailing the Republican framework as a once-in-a-generation opportunity to reshape the economy. This is a revolutionary change, and the biggest winners will be the everyday American workers. And despite the recent defeat over health care, which fractured the GOP, now initial signs of a united front on taxes. This is vital to America's future, and it is urgent. The plan calls for reducing the number of tax brackets, slashing the corporate tax rate, and enhancing the child tax credit. Independent budget experts warn the proposal could add more than $2 trillion to the debt over the next 10 years. Democrats calling the plan a giveaway to the rich. The top rate on the wealthiest comes down, and the bottom rate on working class families goes up. What kind of plan is this? But the president insists wealthy Americans, including himself, won't reap any rewards. I'm doing the right thing, and it's not good for me, believe me. All this as Mr. Trump faces a growing firestorm over Health and Human Services Secretary Tom Price, now under scrutiny from Congress for charging taxpayers for private jet travel. Politico reports Price has taken two dozen charter flights this year, costing taxpayers more than $300,000. I'm going to look at it. I am not happy about it, and I let him know it. Asked whether he plans to fire Price, the president hunted. An HHS spokesperson telling NBC News the secretary has heard the criticism, takes it seriously, and fully supports the inspector general's investigation. Also this morning, the president himself coming under fire from the daughter of Senator John McCain for criticizing the senator who helped defeat the latest effort to overhaul Obamacare. Meghan McCain linked to a story claiming the president physically mocked her father after he was diagnosed with brain cancer, calling it abhorrent and tweeting, what more must my family be put through right now? The White House didn't respond to requests for comment about Meghan McCain's tweets. The president has a series of meetings today, including with his acting secretary of the Department of Homeland Security. Among the topics will undoubtedly be the response to the recent hurricanes, with Puerto Rico urging the government to do more to help. Matt Savannah. Hi, uh, Kristen. Thank you very much. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.